Hallelujah. God has been gracious to me and to you. Amen? Amen. That's why you're in church today. Because God is good God. Amen? Amen. Uh, I would like us to open Luke 24. Luke 24. Amen. Luke 24. And I will begin, we read from verse 13. All the way, there's a long story, all the way to verse 30. To almost to that 36. It's a whole story. So, Sita Soma, I will not read the whole of it. Amen? Amen. But I will speak, we will be reading where we need to read. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah? Amen. The Bible talks of Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. These are the days Jesus was crucified. Yesu wakasubiwa. And the time he was crucified, and he was put in the tomb. Amen? The disciples were very fearful. They shut themselves in. Warijifungia. Because they feared the Pharisees and the Jews. That they may also be killed. Hallelujah. Amen. When your leader is persecuted, you fear that you may also be persecuted. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so they shut themselves. But I thank God for women. Say women. You know, women sometimes they are bold. They have some boldness. I don't know where they get it from. Because when the disciples were fearing, there are some women, and especially the mother Mary of Jesus, mother, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and other women. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. The Bible says in that morning, on the third day, they went, they didn't care. They said, I don't know. I mean, they said, God is with us. Twende Kabulini. Twende eh? Kaburi, let us go to the tomb. Twende to Kaone, to Kampake Mafuta, because Jesus died on a Sabbath day. Hallelujah. Amen. He died on a Friday, sorry, and the next day, Sabbath day. So, you know, Jews as a culture of preparing the body. Kuipaka Manukato, Kuifadi. They have a culture of preservation of the body. Hallelujah. Amen. But this time, uh, they did not have enough time. And so they had to do a short work and await to do what? Hallelujah. Amen. Await Sabbath if Peter. And on a Sunday, Sabbath is sharp, I mean Saturday, on a Sunday, they say, let us go and complete the work and embalm the body of Jesus. To a pack and mafuta. Hallelujah. To tengeneze vide kawaida wayaudi wanatengeneza, how they used to prepare the body. Amen. Amen. And they were asking that, that's why they were asking themselves, who will roll the stone for us? Hallelujah. Amen. Who will roll the stone for us? And yet they were men. The disciples of Jesus were men, isn't it? Hallelujah. There were other followers, but no man offered himself to go with them. Because they feared they may be caught. Hallelujah. Amen. They feared things may happen to them. So they feared. But Miss Mary, I like Marys. <laughs> Many of them were Marys, amen? amen? There was the mother of, of Jesus. There was there were Mary Magdalene. There was Mary the mother of James. There was Mary the mother of Jesus. I don't know why there were so many, but there were Marys. I think, hallelujah. Amen. They were bold. And they said, let us go. I am seeing women of faith. And they proceeded. And they went by faith. What did they say? What did they say? What did they say? Mulango. Remember the stone was sealed. Because the, the, the scribes and Pharisees said, if you don't seal it, these people will come and steal the body of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible says that day, they met, it is open. Say it is open. It is open. And they wondered, they entered in and found they could not see the master. He is not here. Jesus is alive. Oh, if I was here, I would be joyful. Jesus is alive. Amen. We don't worship a dead man or a dead God. Our God is alive. And if my God is alive, I can fear nothing. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He is able to do anything. He is able to change any situation. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I boast with Jesus. And I can talk to him. He can hear me. He has conquered death and he rose again. They found angels 
And the angels told them he is not here. Hallelujah. They ran back and told the disciples, you know what? Jesus is right. But they could not believe. Peter, John ran. Out ran Peter to the tomb. They found that Jesus was not there. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And the Bible says, when Peter went there and found not, verse 13 says, I want to bring from 13. After the report was brought, I want you to see this. Come out to the report, I'm a fufuka. What did you do? I thought we'd rejoice. The friars, didn't you? But then they never believed. He had Jesus and told them beforehand that you rise again. They never believed. Hallelujah. Amen. So instead of being happy, Hallelujah, Amen. they were doubtful. And the Bible says, instead of waiting, two of them, one of them, Creopas, Wakasema, Tunandai Mouse. And my, the message today is the walk to a mouse or the journey to a mouse. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what I want to see. Instead of them staying around and investigating, where is the master? Hallelujah. Amen. A mouse means warm birds. Eh? Eh? Warm You want to stay in a bath in the hot water. Warm bath. So I'm seeing a mouse means warm bath. Uh, a mouse is a place of comfort. A mouse is a place of good feeding goods. Hallelujah. These people have been shut in. And the Bible says in verse 13 that and behold, two of them went the same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem, three score pharaohs. And I was 60, I don't know what I can equivalent of pharaohs. And they talked together of these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together, a reasoned Jesus himself drew near and went with them. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. When Jesus is alive, these people decided to run away. Me, I'm seeing people running away. I'm finding people, we are, we are fearful. I want a place I can enjoy life. Hallelujah. Amen. This thing, persecution, challenges. I want a place where I can relax. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. They wanted to escape the fears in Jerusalem. The risk of death, persecution. They were seeking for comfort in a mouse. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, it's better you remain in the church. Yeah. Don't go elsewhere. This is your Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't go elsewhere to seek for comfort. Stay there. Stay in the church. Hallelujah. Amen. They went, but I thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. They were escaping the fears in Jerusalem. They thought their expectations were cut off. And I will read to you to see. They thought they have no, there is no future. Sio mara za vikapo na vika unaona hakuna siku za uzoni. Huko kanisani unaona mambo hayaendelee vizuri mambo yako. They were saying there is no future. They did not have hope. Hallelujah. If their master has been killed, kama bwana wao ameuawa, where will they go? They hope that Jesus will redeem Israel. Hallelujah. But his death brought fear. The death of Jesus. They forgot the word of Christ that he had spoken to them. Hallelujah. Amen. That he will be betrayed and killed and on the that day you rise up. Tell your neighbor, it's very dangerous to forget what God is speaking to you. Many of the things we fall under, sometimes, is because God speaks and we forget. Jesus had told them clearly, I will die and on that day I will rise up. Hallelujah. And he told him there is a promise. After I rise up, I will talk to the Father when I go. And you will be given the Holy Spirit. But they forgot. Instead, they were just obeyed. They were very fearful. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They are taking the word of God in the wrong way and the fresher way. There are some times you take the word of God the wrong way. You interpret it the wrong way. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. How do I know? The Bible says when they were going, Jesus came and joined them. Yesu alikuja na akaingia katikati yao. Wakakuwa tu watatu. There were three. But they never recognized Jesus. 
Do you know the Lord can be here and you may not know he is here? Hallelujah. The Lord can be with you and you don't know he is with you. He was working with them. Hallelujah. Amen. And what did Jesus say to them? In verse 17, Jesus says, what man of... Bible says, but their eyes were veiled, they should not know him. The Bible says, and he said to them, what manner of communication are these that you have one to another as you walk and are sad? Arisikia wakiongea what happened in Jerusalem. They were saying, oh, you mambo, those people, I can't try to imagine. What am I talking about? Our master, who did great wonders, mighty works, he has been killed. Why did they kill him? So Jesus, akamuliza, akauliza, what is this manner of communication you are talking? Hini mabogani munaongea moja na mungina. Amen? They did not know it was him. Hallelujah. Amen. Great to God. Amen. And they talked to him and said, the one Kriofa said to Jesus, are you a stranger in Jerusalem? Where are you going to Jerusalem? Hallelujah. Amen. Don't have you not known what has happened these days? And Jesus asked them, what is it that has happened? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And they said to him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, now they are talking to Jesus, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, hallelujah, which was a prophet mighty indeed and in word before God and all the people. And all the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to, the, to be condemned and to death and have crucified. Verse that one, let's read together. But we trust them that there had been he which should have redeemed Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. They had hoped Jesus who delivered Israel. Atakombo Israel kutokana na uongozi wa Romi. That he would deliver them from the rulership of Romans. Now he is dead. They did not understand why Jesus came. They thought the redemption was through overcoming and overthrowing Roman Empire. Hallelujah. And you see, that is why now they were full of fear. But I thank God. I thank Jesus. He came with them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus went with them. And he talked with them. And they started telling Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Are you together somebody? And so they were full of fear. Because they thought Jesus. Their hope is cut off. They thought there is no redemption. They thought there is no deliverance anymore. There are sometimes if you don't receive the word of God. The revealed word of God. You may think there is no answer to your situation. Uspopokea na na vizuri. Ukaelewa. Unazafikiri hakuna ukombozi. Hallelujah. When you look at the word of God in your fresh mind, hallelujah, Amen. you may not receive it. But listen, God loves you and he wants to interpret, reveal the word to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And Jesus said, after they say this, the Bible says their eyes were veiled. Hallelujah. Unbelief. Unbelief. Hakuwa na amini yare kristo walikuwa mesema. Walikuwa mefungwa na changa moto zile wanapitia. Hilikuwa mefungwa na shinta zile wanapitia. Walikuwa na fungwa na uoga ula walikuwa nao. Fear can brighten your eyes. Challenges can brighten your spiritual eyes. The things when you stay on it or the things you are passing through, you may be blocked. You may not understand what God is doing. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why you must cast out your cares to Jesus and look at the wonder of God and believe it the way it was. Many people not receive because sometimes you come to church or you go to where God is, the wonder of God is preached with some baggages which brighten us. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. When God tells you to do this, you say, how is that possible? I thought, look at, I'm just thinking of Naaman. Hallelujah. Let me explain about brightness. Kufungwika macho. Naaman, we were taught by Pastor Catherine on Sunday. Man, Naaman went to Elisha. He went with a thought. Say a thought. That when I go there, the man of God, lazima akuje aniwekere mukono. Hallelujah. The man of God must meet me, a mighty man. I'm respected in my country. And the man of God will come and I will first give him an offering. Unailewa. And I know this thing is it's making many people not to receive today. Mambo ya kuperekea watungaji offering jiwa kuombe. That's why one man came. That uh, He came with blankets. He came with chariots. He came with gold. And he came. And I give to Elisha. Bas, my miracle will get it. But God does not operate that way. 
But these things, ndiyo zidifanya, zidifunga macho. They close his eyes. When he came to Elisha, Elisha did not even come out of the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Elisha did not come. In fact, I could talk her. He said to a servant, Gassi, talk to that man. Because Naaman had a preconceived idea. Alikuwa najabu, alikuwa meyewekewekea. Wakati aliona mtumishu anaitua jihazi. When he saw him, and he has told him, I've been sent by the master to tell you, go and dip yourself in the liver. Naaman was very angry. Hallelujah. Can you see what I'm trying to say? His faith was blocked. Imani yake ilifungika kwa sababu there is a thought, the way he thought that God will deliver him. Let me tell you, when you go to come to God, don't go come with a formula. Don't say, I want God to bless me this way. Hallelujah. I don't know, I, don't, I mean, God will do my miracle this way. Hallelujah. Amen. Come open-minded. Kuja na mroho imefunguka. Ujui mungu atatumia nini. You don't know what God will use. Pastor Kathleen is saying, God can use anybody. Hallelujah. Amen. He can use anything. Glory to God. Amen. When you go to God, open your heart. Let God direct you how you want to resolve, how you want to do your thing. Amen? Amen. Don't dictate to God, I want it this way. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's all you are taught. Pray that his will be done. And that man could have missed his miracle. But when he agreed and he was helped by a servant, ni mutumishi tu wake alimsaidia. Akamwambia na man funguka akili. If Elisha told you to do a hard thing, kama alikwambia ufanye kitu kikubwa. Hallelujah. Amen. One time I was preaching in the train and I prayed for a woman. When I prayed for a certain woman, she went to her back and got an offering to me. I told her I'm sorry, I don't take offerings. Hallelujah. Amen. She was shocked. I said, Pastor, why are you not taking offerings? I said, I don't pray for people to receive offerings. She said, I've been taught when a man of God speaks something, I should give an offering. What you do to such a woman? Hallelujah. Amen. Even I don't take the offering, her faith will diminish. Because he has been taught that way. So I asked the Holy Spirit, give me wisdom here. Because I don't take offerings from people. Hallelujah. I, get, I pray for people freely. I was led by God to take the offering to make her faith stand. And I took the offering. When I went outside, I met a needed person and gave the offering to that person. Hallelujah. Amen. But for the purpose of her not missing out, because she had anger miss out, because already there was something broken. Now I'm trying to say, and the disciples... They were being brought by something. They saw Jesus as a physical king. Not a spiritual king. They saw him as a physical redeemer. Ambata kuja akomboe wana Israeli kutoka na wongozi wa. Wewe na wewe, how do you interpret the Bible? When you read. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says they were strong to heart in heart to believe. They did not recognize Jesus Though he walked with them and expounded the scriptures for them. Can you imagine the master walking with you? Jesus is talking to you and you cannot know it is him. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus speaking to you and he does that every day. Do you know every day he speaks to you? And sometimes you don't know he is speaking to you. I wanted to enter that car. Something told me you sing here. Then your guy can have an accident. You don't even recognize it is Jesus. You say it is something that told you. He is always speaking to us. Amen. And sometimes we don't recognize that is him. But you will feel some excitement in your spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Jesus joined them. And he told them, all you are slow, he rebuked them. I can be a nini, who are slow to heart, to understand. Hallelujah. Amen. But I thank God, he is so strong suffering. He is so patient. Alianza kuwaelezea neno. He started expounding the word from Moses, the law of Moses. He came to the prophets. He came to the book of Psalms. Hallelujah. Amen. Telling them how the son of God had to come and die, be persecuted, be killed, and shall rise up on that day. Amen. Amen. Verse 25, he says, Jesus told them, he said, Oh, fools, Throw of heart to believe all the prophets have spoken. Hallelujah. I thank God you're so patient. We may be slow to believe, 
But God will come to your aid. He says, come let us reason together. Kuja tusemezane. Mungu anapenda musemezane. He want to explain to you. If you can afford just to be in his presence, ukuwa natafuta mungu, ata kuelezea mambo yote yale, ambao naitaji kuelezewa. He will show you the way. He will speak to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is telling them there was no of heart to believe. Imagine the disciples of Jesus. Pastors, you may have people who are slow to believe. You must deal with them patiently like Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And that's why in church you will find all characters. Because people are not in the same level of believing. Hallelujah. Amen. Mary, Magdalene my believed. She said, I cannot leave the tomb. I must see Jesus. Where did they take my master? Alika pale kwa kwa kaburi akasema mimi sitoki hapa. She had faith. If he is resurrected, I will see him. I will see him. Amen. Amen. And Jesus before ascending appeared to her. He said, "Mary, who are you looking for?" He came like a gardener. Mary had not recognized him. But then he saw it's the master. Jesus told her, "Don't touch me until I ascend because I have not ascended to the Father." Usinuguze maana sijarudi kwa baba. Amen. But Mary Magdalene insisted I want to see the resurrected Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I pray you may have people who insist by faith. Who insist to God by faith. This thing, God, I'm not sitoki hapa. We always talk of Jacob. At the sitoki hapa baka mungu anibariki. We sing. There's one thing singing. There's one thing insisting. Insisting ni ina zema buwana. Mimi si ondoki. Na una chukua hatua imani. You say, I'm going if it's something you needed, I'm going there and waiting for you here. You say, God, I've come. I'm here. I'm waiting for you here. In your mapatano yetu. Hallelujah. And I'm not leaving until I see my miracle. I'm not leaving until I see you work in me and with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God loves such people. Mungu na perezo na tuwa imani. Una kapano na sema siondoki, sibanuki. Baba, hii kitu, hii kitu, sitoki hapa. Baka na kuzungumuzia na kwambia mwanangu. He will speak to you. Hallelujah. Amen. But we recognize when he speak to you. When he said it's a year of fulfillment, it was him speaking to you. Did we recognize? Tulijua ni yeye anatuangeresha. Ya kwamba mwaka huu, anateda mama kubwa. Tuzipoelewa, we can miss out. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. How often we walk with him and we don't recognize. Because he speaks to our spirit. Anaongea na rozetu. Hallelujah. Let us not allow ourselves to be blinded by circumstances. Let us not allow ourselves to be blinded by issues. To be blinded by fears of what is happening around us. Usijaribu kufungwa akirizako na mamboyare ya nakuzingira. Ukisijaribu kuekwa upovu usikaone mungu. Na ukaone kiri ya nakuambia kwa sababu ya mamboyare ya unapitia. Hallelujah. Learn to look beyond your problems and see mighty God. Uone mungu mkubwa. See a God who can do anything. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. When we focus on what is challenging our lives, when we focus on our fears, we can easily be brided such that we may not recognize when Christ is talking to us. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. These people had heard that Jesus has resurrected. Walikuwa meshasikia kutoka kwa Mary. Walikuwa meshasikia kwa ba Yesu wa mefufuka. They had already heard. Hallelujah. But they did not, they decided to leave Jerusalem. Than waiting to see what is going to unfold. Yes, to meski Yesu amefufuka. Nini kita tokea? We unge toka Jerusalem. Yesu amefufuka. Unaski ya manawaka wana kwambi ali ali mefufuka to meona maraika. I think it was time to wait. It was time to wait for God to see what next. Hallelujah. Don't be quick to leave because of your problems. Don't be quick to dismiss and say there's nothing that I got from the church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. They left Jerusalem where there was a move of God, the resurrection of Jesus to go to a place of comfort. They did not understand the fulfillment of God's word and have missed out if it was not the intervention of Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. Amen. They did not understand. How could we learn when we are to our timis and our mungu? They not uh, no. It is a time of fulfillment of God's word, what Jesus has spoken, what has been prophesied by the prophets. It is a time being fulfilled. And I told you there are some promises God has promised us, and He said this year 
is the year of fulfillment. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And you can come to church and live without seeing it. But I thank God he is concerned. Jesus came that he may turn them again to Jerusalem. He came and walked with them to explain to them the scriptures that he may turn again them again. Oh, how I pray that God may turn us again to see what is going to happen. Amen? Amen. He came to open their minds and to help them understand and return to Jerusalem to witness the fulfillment of the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There are places you may go. Unaza talk up and you say, Meta Kaisa ni meacha. Mungu ende, ukute pali umenda, kuna brokage. Because it is God intervening, telling you, go back. Ludi pale pale. I have not finished yet. There are some things I'm doing in that midst. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray that God open your eyes. You didn't hear me. I pray that God open your eyes. Amen. May the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Amen. That you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. You can read that in Ephesians 1.18. Amen. Amen. Mungu wa kufungue macho yako. Ukabatue uwelewa. Na kupamanuliwa. Hallelujah. Kile ametarishia wateule. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu kielewa. I'm telling you, you'll be planted in the church. You'll be planted in the fellowship. Hauta kuwa kusukumwa kwa ushirika. Hauta kusukumwa kwa kanisani. You don't understand why you pray. Why you come to the fellowship. Why? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Oh, God, open your eyes. And may God open your eyes of your understanding. And what is the, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. That you may know what is the exceeding greatness of his power to answers who believe. Hallelujah. According to the working of his mighty power. Mungu akweze kukuonyesha uku wake, the exceeding greatness of his power. Uku wanguvu zake, ukielewa uku wanguvu za mungu. When you understand the greatness of the power of God, you will not fear anything. Hallelujah. You will not fear. It doesn't matter what is facing you. Ata ukue ukuli, upati chakula, you will stand and say, God, today I'm waiting you in this house. And I know you will bring provision. And when you have faith, God will send somebody. Utakuta tu mekonga konga. Are you in? Hallelujah. Amen. I've heard testimonies of people who are waiting on God. And I say, my boy, I don't have food. I don't have food. I don't have food. But I say, God, I'm putting my jawari. Listen, faith. They did not have money to buy food. And I'm going to pick a ugari. Even says, to pick a ugari na nini. We are going to cook ugari. And it puts water kwa jiko. Hallelujah. And waits on God. I say, God, imagine, you pick a ugari. I'm going to pick a ugari. You eat. That is faith. That is faith. And you know, not many hours, somebody knocked on the door. And I said, God told me to bring this unga and this unga, <laughs> this flour, they ate. That is faith. Hallelujah. Amen. What you see in the Bible can happen today. The woman who was collecting some sticks to cook the last meal, they did not have anything to eat. Hallelujah. She was waiting on God. And God told Elijah, go to Seriphadi. You will meet a widow. And Jesus, when he came, he says, there were many widows in Israel. But that Elijah was not sent to anybody in Israel. Hallelujah. Outside Israel, to a widow. Because that widow had faith. She said, God, I'm correcting the last text, but we shall not die. Hallelujah. Do you know you can be dying and say, we shall not die. Tell your neighbor, you shall not die. She did not agree with the situation. She did not agree with the condition. She said, though I'm correcting the last text, I know God will do something. And you know how you can miss out? Because God did not come and say, I'm God. God did not send somebody carrying unga. Hallelujah. Amen. He sent a servant who was hungry. <laughs> God is interesting. Sometimes I like the humor of God. He, he, he brought, instead of bringing unga, and a bit of unga, na mafuta, 
He brought a hungry servant and he said to the woman, he make me a small piece of cake. Can you imagine? I'm looking at the humor of God. Anybody, somebody who is not of faith can miss out. Ile chakura kidogo, mama, umebaki mkuna na mtoto mkufe kwa sabu kuna chakura. Ndiyo na mimi nimekuja labda nimetumwa nimeambiwa na Mungu si chakura siku tatu kwenye nakwambia kwanza kabla kukuta nitengenezeka cake tania bia ah au moto kivyake kila mtu kivyake moto eh tunasikia semanga kila mtu kivyake god for us oh that is not a language of faith the woman prepared the cake and gave to Elijah Elijah and gave him water and Elijah said now from today your supply has come hallelujah Amen. you shall not have anger anymore. And the Bible says the unga, the flour increased. And the, and, the, and, the, and the oil never ceased. Until the three and a half years she was not going to the duka. Imagine you are not going to the shop. You are just standing. The oil is just increasing. You pour. You turn. The unga is just increasing. What are here? Ukichukua inaongezeka. That's faith. And what does James say in the James 5? He says Elijah was a man just like us who had emotions like us. Meaning, the same God who did that miracle can do it for you. Amen. You didn't understand me, somebody. Amen. I'm talking to somebody who is needed this morning. Now again, I'm talking about, I'm talking to somebody who is needed this morning. I'm talking to somebody who is needed this morning. I'm talking to somebody who is saying, unless God, you come, I don't know where I'll go. Maybe I'm not talking to everyone here, but I'm talking to somebody who came this morning, saying, God, you must intervene in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Oh, God opened to you to know the exceeding greatness of his power. Amen. Towards you that believe. The power is not towards God. The power is reached towards you. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, it is not time to walk to a mouse. Tell your neighbor, it's not time to walk to a mouse. It's not a place to look for warm baths. Place of comfort. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. We have our comforter in the midst of us. Amen. Don't go to look for comfort. You have the comforter. Turn to him. He will give you the comfort. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. It is time for fulfillment of the word that God has spoken to our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time to remain in the fellowship of the brethren and witness the risen Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. As we gather in prayer and worship, as you share the word, Christ is revealed in our midst and you move out with power. Maybe you know, we are going to get a lot of power. We are going to get a lot of power. We are going to get a lot of power. We are going to get a lot of power. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. As we gather here in prayer and worship, glory to God. As we share the word of God, Christ is revealed in our midst and you move out in power. We see the 